For 100 years, planes have been taking off and landing at an airport on the west side. But after years of legal woes, the controversial airfield is scheduled to close down for good. In tonight's Look at This, Desmond Shaw takes us to Santa Monica Airport. We'll take a look at this airport on the west side. This is Santa Monica Airport, one of the oldest airports in California as folks have been taking off and landing on a little strip of grass here as far back as 1917. It officially became an airport in 1922 as a U.S. military air base. Back then it was known as Cloverfield, named after Grayer Clover. That was a local fighter pilot who was killed in France during World War I. And this is where the world's first circumnavigation by air uh, happened, took off from this airport on St. Patrick's Day of 1924. And that was accomplished by the U.S. military in a custom-built fleet of Douglas World Cruisers. Speaking of Douglas, this would be their home for many years. They produced the story DC line of aircraft here. During World War II, they built bombers and thousands of C-47 military air transports. Now. You can't talk about Santa Monica Airport without all of the controversy that this airport has generated. And that controversy goes back a long way, even as far back as at least 1958, when Douglas had asked the city to extend the runway so that they could test the DC-8 jet here, and they refused, citing uh, concerns from nearby residents. So Douglas moved their production down to Long Beach and the thousands of jobs that went along with it. And of course, there's been many high profile crashes here. One of the most infamous involving Harrison Ford in 2015 when he crashed on nearby Penmar Golf Course, amazingly only suffering minor injuries. Sadly, we covered a fatal uh, crash here only a couple of months ago that involved the death of an instructor and his student. Now, after decades of legal wrangling, this airport is scheduled to close at the end of 2028. The land is supposed to be repurposed into parks and open space. And so that's definitely sad for a lot of aviation enthusiasts. But regardless of the closure of this airport, uh, no doubt the storied legacy that this airfield has played in Southern California aviation history will always be remembered. Taking a look at this from Sky 9, I'm Desmond Shaw. And if you'd like, Desmond, to take a look at something interesting in your neighborhood, just write us at look at this at cbs.com.